morning, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US. The last day, this is day number five. Yeah, and we are going from the highest point where we over, we are all ever have uh, overnighted uh, to the desert to our home in Arizona. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Yeah, this was the highest point I ever uh, slept or we ever slept in, in that Silverton uh, hotel there. They had actually four Tesla destination chargers. Two of them were iced, but nobody cared probably. But uh, uh, what the heck, because there was enough parking space and enough chargers there. And we... Uh, now keep going through the mountains again and you might have to climb a little bit more up again uh, but it was uh, it will be a great landscape change throughout our tour so I will get you some impression in between here and you will see how nice that's gonna be Yeah, we started early today and we have a choice and I was trying to figure out a route to go through Monument Valley and uh, it is a possibility, I don't know the route from Durango and then going west to, uh, what is that called? Blending. Blending is a supercharger there and then from Blending all the way through uh, to Flagstaff. This is a long distance, so probably we really have to charge up in blending and then go all the way through there, but it would be an awesome trip to go through Monument Valley and I think we have more, we have, a, we have time. Uh, we could do it and uh, what do you guys think? I think we should do it, right? Yeah, basically guys, we are avoiding New Mexico now because we are going from here all the way straight, a little bit northwest even, towards Utah and there in blending is the charger. There only, it's a 120 kilowatt charger with only four stalls and it's not been used yet so far as see, but we also still have one hour 45 minutes to get there and that charger we have used that before because we did a tour with my daughter and her husband years ago in the Model S and we did that tour there and uh, when we went from there to Page it was that was we had a charge all the way full as well in order to get to Page because also the Model S 2012 had a, a lesser range and yeah so we're going there and uh, we also I I'm gonna take a look at
getting smaller or let me say thinner and thinner it's more going closer to desert now and uh, I was looking for we are close to the border to Utah and I was looking for the borderline and if there is a welcome sign now what I found here there is a state line bar and grill instead of and that's still on the Colorado side in, instead of a welcome sign okay we accept that as well and it should be coming let, let me see if I can catch that yeah we are in Utah driving a little bit through Utah and there is the supercharger in blending we are waiting for that have a lunch break there or a brunch brunch lunch so and that's a long break because we have to overcome a long distance to get to the next supercharger and flagstaff. Uh, this is the distance what I never can make with the trailer because there's nothing between blending page and uh, flagstaff. There's one destination charger at the hotel in Tuba City, but not very interesting. So, yeah. That's it for this time and uh, yeah, enjoy more pictures in, the, in between. Yeah, that is a very lonely supercharger there, so we are the only ones at that charger. And uh, we had next to the visitor center there's a little bench, so we took some uh, brunch to go. And there was really nothing open, uh, the co coffee was closed. It took longer to find something as there as to charge it. And uh, even when we had later our sandwiches, there and ate something it was yeah uh, the charging was faster so we are full charged and then now we continue through the deserts uh, landscapes and the next one is the new big supercharger in Flagstaff So we are entering now. Oh, I'm gonna turn the music off. We are entering now Monument Valley. One of the famous one is the Mexican Hat, and there will be others as well. Enjoy the views.
here we are just in the middle of the road from time to time there's a car going coming by most of them driving through and stopping here Now isn't that great? In my home state now we have already crossed the border to Arizona and there's Utah and here's Arizona and in my home state is also Monument Valley. However, that belongs to Navajo Nation. Here yeah, we are easily going the US 160 from Caliente to Tuba City and this is probably a way where people with autopilot or full self driving didn't drive because just three in a row uh, phantom brakings and uh, it's not gonna it does not gonna run good with my wife. The only thing what I can tell her is I can tell her hey I'm gonna take autopilot and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drive the car and, and put it on autopilot immediately she's driving so and now she's driving for herself again that's the full safe driver yeah she drives for herself because she cannot stand when the car, car slams in the brakes uh, otherwise enjoy the environment here yeah. the pictures hey another short stop we are here at Elephant's Feet and it looks really like that. It's still on the same highway just before Tuba City. Looks cool. We are through the mountains, through the deserts and then through the mountains again because we now are arriving in Flagstaff and Flagstaff is already 7,000 feet high plus mountains on top of it and we are now Coconino in the Coconino National Forest or the beginning of it and then there is a new supercharger 24 chargers there uh, in at the 89 uh, US 89 which is much nicer there's a shopping center I think close by and there's a 250 kilowatt so we are arriving there with uh, 9% now, yeah, so, uh, long time it was 10%. And we are climbing another 1000 feet now from, we are now at 6000 feet, it's gonna be over 7000 feet. And then we have some uh, short time there and we hopefully that's the last charger before we're getting home because then 
it only goes from there down here. So enjoy the pictures. Now you have arrived at your destination. We made it last day. That was day number five because this time we drove in five days back. And I had it here. Okay. Statistics. We started in Colorado in Silverton and we wanted to originally go over New Mexico, but we had a better idea to go through Utah and saw the Monument Valley. So you saw all of the awesome pictures from the desert, uh, from the Monument Valley, from the mountains with snow covered, from the trees, from the pine trees, from the mountain drives and everything. And now we are back in our home country or home state, Arizona. And here comes the statistic for today and for the total. So for today, we have 575 miles, 173 kilowatt used, and 300 watt, one watt per mile. This is not much, but you have to remember, we drove downhill most of the time because we started at 3,000 foot, uh, 3,000, no, at 11,000 feet high, over 3,000 meter. And for the entire trip, we drove 2,900 miles within 1,000 kilowatt, 1,007 kilowatt hours used and 343 watt per mile. And we were driving quickly and no problem at any charger, never any waiting time and never time when we had to wait until the charger is full because we always planted this way that we had some meals, some breakfast or anything in between there what we could or wanted to do. So it is seamless and as you don't notice anything. You don't notice anything. And how much did we use? So we always use destination chargers on the, when we did an overnight and the destination chargers with the exception of one I paid four dollar. I don't know why I paid on one Nebraska $4 on a charge point charger. Uh, I cannot tell you why, but uh, I paid $4 there and we paid $246, I think, on the superchargers on the way back. So now, why was it more expensive than the $205 on the way towards? Now, first, we drove a little bit more and we took seven days on the way toward, but we always overnighted and used destination chargers. So then the first, whatever, 300, 350 miles of consumption on that next morning are basically on the expense of the hotel, at least on the way toward, it was the case. Yeah, on the way back, because we only had four overnights, we paid, uh, we did not pay with the exception of one four dollar for the overnight and then we paid on a supercharger more. The day in Colorado we did not follow the instructions from uh, from Tesla because they wanted to send us all the way through. What we did is we drove uh, our own way actually from the, the way we wanted to drive on 76 and it was an awesome drive. 
alongside the rivers and the Colorado River and awesome pictures. So we had a good time even when it was pretty quick to drive back. Would we do it again? We did it before in the winter time with the old Model X. This was a little bit more stringent on the waiting time, but today we did not have to wait anymore. I'm wondering how that will be when we're going to do that where everybody can use the superchargers if there will be wait time. Okay, we will see. I hope you guys liked it. Subscribe uh, to the channel and thumbs up. If you have any comments, please write it in the comments. See you on the next road trip or any adventure I would like to tell you. We